Okay, so there's a very serious uh, issue in America, and I, I don't know if it's around the world or not, but the issue is there is a debate that, and jokes and everything that the banjo minnow is, I don't know even know what the joke, like if it's it's just a stupid gimmick or if it's a, a the worst bait made or something, but there's always jokes surrounding the banjo minnow. This is the real deal. This is the original banjo minnow from a yard sale for a dollar, okay? I got three different colors, hook sizes, you name it, it's in here. But I'm not gonna stop with the banjo minnow. How do you stop there? What do you fish it on? You fish it on a Zebco 33. Now this is a new Zebco 33. I'm also gonna fish it on an old Zebco 33 and an old 1970 fishing rod. This is a new, this is old. And I always hear jokes about people bringing Zebco 33s and, and cheap gear. Listen, you can catch fish on cheap gear. You can catch fish on a stick. It doesn't matter. Now it does come to play. These are not gonna hold up to tournament use day in, day out, the punishment that tournament guys put on their rods and reels, it ain't gonna happen. You ain't gonna be able to do it. You can catch a fish on it. You can play around with them. And hopefully, we can catch a fish on the Zebco 33s with the Banjo Minnow right now. I'm just using the line that came on it. It's 10 pound Cajun, which I've never used Cajun in my, the history of my life. I don't know about this Cajun. So I guess this is one. I have a weight. I guess you just hook it in like that. I don't know. Okay, now this one. I just have it simply rigged. The screw lot, the screw deal is inside. The hook goes through that. Um, now this is on a, I don't even know, I'd say 80s, 80s, 70s, 80s. 33 classic. And then uh, this is a, a Ted Williams brand rod. And you can see it's, it's gonna bend. So let's go see if we can't catch anything. Man, this thing skips amazing. This is the first time I ever used this thing. No joke, it takes nothing to skip this thing. Looky there! Look at that! Holy cow! Look at that on the banjo minnow, but what's even cooler? Look inside that dude's throat. You got big old fish tail sticking out of it. That's a big old fish he ate. Banjo minnow. Ted Williams rod. What's going on here? Banjo minnow, Ted Williams, 1970 something rod, Zebco 33 classic, catching fish. Let's get him back and get another. Another snaggerama. All right, unfortunately I'm out of time, but we'll pick this back up tomorrow with the Zebco 33 and the Banjo Minnow. Well, we're back at it with the Zebco 33 antique fishing rod Banjo Minnow challenge, but I got a helper today. 
He's my little guy, and he's gonna try to catch some crappie, aren't you? Uh huh. All right. So keep watching, and hopefully we can catch some good bass on this uh, thing setup. Yep. Right. Give me some. On this fishing video. Caught one? I missed him. No, but, but you found him. Lucky you. I missed it, Bill. Uh-huh. But you're lucky that you found one. I haven't found any yet. Really? No. You're right, buddy. I am lucky. Yeah. I'm not. If I catch a fish, then I'm going to see how much it weighs. Yep. You can weigh your fish. Yeah. Woo, banjo minnow fish. That's a banjo minnow fish. Not a very big one, is it? No. What do you think about this? Man, the hooks get them good. No, I don't need to weigh this one. I'm going to weigh mine. That's fine. We'll weigh yours. We'll weigh yours. Little baby banjo minnow fish. You want to kiss it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. This mag is easy for you and me. I had the one time that's it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, crappie time. So now we're starting to get multi-species with the banjo minnow. It's getting good. Little baby. Ripped my banjo off. How dare he? It's raining a little bit. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try to catch one uh, before it rains too much, aren't we? You're right. Okay, so let's do it. He's crappie fishing, and I'm fishing with the banjo minnow. Huh. Nice crappie, isn't it? Uh huh. Can we weigh it? We can weigh it if you want. 
point four two. <laughs> so you want to kiss it? No. All right. Oh, I got another one. See? We got a double. We got a double. I got a Me too. <laughs> Look, hold it over here. Lift it up. Bring it over. I got the same one as you. Bring it over. You, you got a crappie and I got a bass. Is that awesome? Uh -huh. Double. <laughs> Double, guys. Here, let's. Oh, you're on. Bring it. Bring it, son. Make a good cast. Or you, won't <laughs> you got one. Oh, you get him, get him, get him. You're going to win. You got one. <laughs> you're going to win. No! No! Oh, it oh. came off! What? That counts! No, no! Oh, that doesn't count. That, that doesn't does. count. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. That doesn't count. Yeah, it does. Nope, that doesn't count. And the same spot. That doesn't count. That didn't count. That does. Just two seconds. No, nope. you gotta get it into the boat. Oh. Whoa. You got one? Yeah, I think so. Hold it up. Huh? Hold up your rod. Oh, you're going to win. No, you're not going to win. <laughs> yeah, I am. I better catch one. I already got it. What? <laughs> and you won? Mm -hmm. Man. I get to eat it. Dude, you caught a bluegill. Yep. You won the championship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was fun. Uh, I didn't get any big bites, but man, it's a banjo minnow on a Zebco 33. I mean, I did okay. I missed some fish, I caught some fish, so I had a good time. If you want to see any other challenges of any other baits, go ahead and throw it in the comment section. I appreciate you watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see y'all.